Hello everyone. So in this video, we will try to understand what is the difference between an ideal and a practical transformer. So before starting, we will see what is the use of transformer. So the generation, transmission and distribution of AC power takes place at different voltage levels. These changes in the voltage levels in the power system are provided by using a stationary device known as a transformer. So what is a transformer? So transformer is defined as a static electromagnetic device which transforms AC electrical power from one circuit to the another circuit with a desired change in the voltage level without any electrical connection between them and it does so without a change in frequency okay now we will see what is an ideal transformer and what is an what is a practical transformer so first we will start with an ideal transformer. so ideal transformer is basically a throttle model of a transformer which has zero energy losses means there is no core losses, no hysteresis losses, no eddy current losses. So its efficiency is equals to 100% and the voltage regulation is equals to 0%. Okay. So ideal transformer does not exist in the real life. It is only used to understand and analyze the practical transformer. The basics, the fundamental of transformer remains same only the losses are present in the practical transform. So one by one, we will see all the difference between the ideal and practical transform. So first one is the winding resistance is in the transformer's winding. So there are two windings, primary and secondary winding. So for primary side, resistance is given by R1. So R1 is equals to zero and in the secondary side, R2 is equals to zero. So there is zero winding resistance. So when there is no resistance in the windings, means the copper loss. So copper loss is equals to I square R. So when R is equals to zero, so the copper loss is also equals to zero. Means that there is no copper loss taking place in the windings. Okay, so this is the first difference. Second is there is no leakage flux in the core. So the flux which is set up in the core it is confined in the core only it is not going or it is not completing its path through the air so whatever the flux which is linking the primary winding the total flux is linking the secondary winding there is no flux which is completing its path through the air so there is no leakage flux okay third one is there is negligible core losses that is the core losses means the iron loss which is taking place in the core is equals to zero now the iron loss is equals to hysteresis loss and eddy current losses so there are two types of losses so these two losses hysteresis and eddy current loss is also equals to zero in case of ideal transformer next one is the core has infinite permeability infinite permeability means mu is equals to infinite that means the flux flux is set up by the magnetizing current so there is no need of magnetizing current to create a flux in the core if the core has infinite permeability okay but these all things are present in case of a practical transformer so one by one we will see about the practical transformer so practical transformer is a real time transformer which has energy losses in it the core has finite permeability its efficiency is not equals to 100 percent and the voltage regulation is not equals to zero so the first point is it has winding resistance the winding resistance are present in a practical transformer see in this diagram winding resistance is represented by r1 and r2 okay so when there is a presence of winding resistance means the copper losses are also present in the practical transformer okay which 
decreases the efficiency of a trans second point is the leakage flux is also present leakage flux is present means the total flux does not confined in the core only but some of the flux uh, completes its path through the air so the flux which completes its path through the air is called as a leakage flux okay and this leakage flux is represented by el1 which is equals to i1 xl1 so what is xl1 xl1 is a leakage reactants of a transformer for a primary side it is represented by xl1 and on the secondary side it is represented by xl2 so this leakage reactants and the winding resistance both will create a voltage drop in the transformer when there is a voltage drop in the transformer so there will be a voltage regulation which is greater than zero okay what is the voltage regulation it is a change in secondary voltage from no load to full load next is the leakage resistance uh, leakage reactance is represented by xl1 and xl2 third point is the core losses are present in the transformer it means the hysteresis loss and eddy current loss both are present in the transformer which decreases the efficiency fourth point is the permeability of the core is not infinite but there is some value the, there is a finite permeability of the core therefore there is some value of magnetizing current which creates a core uh, which creates a flux in the core so conclusion is we will see all the differences so in an ideal transformer there is no energy losses means the input power is equals to the output power that is p1 is equals to p2 which gives the primary power factor cos phi 1 is equals to the secondary power factor cos phi 2 okay but in a practical transformer energy loss is present second point in an ideal transformer there is no winding resistance but in case of practical transformer the winding resistances are present third point is there is no leakage flux in case of ideal transformer but a leakage flux is there in case of practical transformer next point is there is no iron losses or core losses in the ideal transformer but in case of practical transformer the iron losses are present in case of ideal transformer the core has infinite permeability but in case of a practical transformer there is a finite permeability of core so combining all the assumptions or the characteristics of an ideal transformer this will give you the efficiency equals to 100% and voltage regulation is equals to 0% but in case of practical transformer combining all the losses present in the in the practical transformer the efficiency becomes less than 100% and the voltage regulation becomes greater than 0% hope you understood the difference between ideal transformer and practical transformer thanks for watching